folks we'll give you the space weather here and basically i'm going to show you why and this is the closest the freshest thing i've got out from uh h1a is off the 8th and we're sitting with the 11th currently 10 11 2012 an early a.m shift so taking a quick look out into space i'm going to bring you down and show you uh there's our aurorals okay off on the north and on the south pole okay and why because basically we have wind speed yes very high okay it's the highest wind speed we've had for a while so basically they are still off a little bit see active quiet well we got a lot of wind speed and let's show you on uh there's as soon as you see this when i go to the navy then i know there's something up and basically you see that we get comets which are not small because we've got to remember how tiny the earth is the earth is really only like a speck of these grains that are in the sun filter right now there or basically a shot of the filter of the sun so earth would be very 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 tiny maybe or even lucky if we even if we're glowing 10 times our size that we would even look like basically uh just the smallest little white speck you could find out here okay so these are this is pretty huge coming by and then actually when i go and i pull up Helio viewer i get this video here and i froze it and the idea we have objects coming by the sun okay that's not just mercury or something popping in uh basically actual factual that is something that came by the sun right there and we can hit play and i'll try to see if i can catch it and that's that's how fast it came by okay so there is stuff out there wildly massively in space and basically that was that video there and i caught that item there and actual factual there you go there's another something and this is way later 2042 hour but the idea that it that, what is it the timings that they have earlier on the 10th so there's activity up there coming by stuff coming by on the sun and then we go back to sechi and you will see where i'm looking at the magnetisms and this is basically the sun and basically the stuff that goes by around the sun and you're going to see back uh, this is the uh, i believe this is the freshest i got and it's from 11 301 and basically it popped back on me on that let me let me just square this up but this is a good example here's the ninth i don't have any data yet and then we go to the eighth and basically this is the sun and basically the sun rifles through space okay and when you see the magnetic lines and that means there's a planet that's around by the sun this is a planet by the sun planet by the sun planet by the sun okay and it this is the sun rolling two time lapse of days okay so on the 10th between the 9th and the 10th there's the sun doing its whatever it's doing cme or whatever okay and then it rifles through space as you see it traveling through space here okay and then you'll see the planets that show up that are around by the sun okay so as we go through here and it's from a and from b so this is from the b side and this is the sun here from the other side from the back side and this is a from a, from a and this is when it's doing some cme action okay so then there's a planet and as you can see, when there's planets that get close to the sun, it doesn't like it. Okay, so we'll go previous because that's what we got. And as we roll through the days, on like on the 30th, somewhat calm. Then you get some action there a little bit. And then as this is as, as it does its, uh, as you watch the sun, it does its rifling through. Now you also see that there's other images around by the sun. Okay, now as it's coming through here and it's doing its 360, as you see when it gets over here, there's a big object. Now is that the sun? been doing a huge cme then you have to watch for your cmes on the 15th okay as you see the time changes as you follow the sun through here you'll see the clock and the minutes change down here you watch your clock so you can scroll along so basically the sun does rifle through space the guy with the theory he pretty much knows it from looking at the data okay because the sun does rifle through space okay and then basically you can see the other planets that are close by the sun here as you're going through the magnetical image and remember this is a i mean this is b here and this is a so sechi a and b core a and b see core 2 a 
chord to B, okay? Two different shots. So, this is a nice synopsis that you can work with as you're going through here. And, uh, let me go to a previous. And so you can see every month that it has uh, certain stuff around it, it gets volatile, okay? CMEs and so forth. Now on the 10th, we've got two M class because it hit here, we had another M, okay? And basically doing a lot of C, as you see the C action here, C, and then there. So we're getting a heartbeat back on this C action. So we got a rhythm going on instead of this spiking that did it. And then we're going to go watch the video that basically is showing you that uh, this is what we got coming on. And I've told you about the super giants and a lot of other stuff that's way huger in space. Okay. Now that's not the, that this here is the sun here flashing doing this, but it's reacting to, it's doing a CME reactor flare to basically that coming through space and you'll see that in a second as I go forward see that's the Sun doing its thing but uh, as I reverse it there you go see there was a huge CME from something that basically is probably close to at least 30 some times the size of the Sun okay and there is stuff that's in the super giants that's 74 times the size of the Sun so uh, this stuff is out there and it's happening as you've seen uh, basically actual factual there's a comet coming by okay there's material flying by the sun crazy and uh, the sun's in play out there uh, very unusual and we'll go forward because that's basically seeing me coming off the sun and then you'll see this flash that see that flash of that comes off and it's not just the sun it's basically something a lot of electrical magnetical coming off of suns that are bigger than the sun okay out there in space and then basically it makes the sun flare its ass off. So, as you see Jupiter here in this shot, Venus should be what we see in here when we're looking at this shot. Okay, Venus is, that should be Venus down here, and which is showing very large because it's getting all that CME action from the sun, electrical, magnetical. And then, it's not really storing it, but it sure is uh, making it very bright and very large. It makes Venus look very large right now. Okay. And this is from B, B side. And on the maps, you can also see where the idea that when the sun is rifling, basically, here is it rifles through space. When it gets close to the meatball right here, you can see the meatball show up here in this time. So you always want to look for sketchy shots when you can go back and look at the historicals. And you'll end up seeing Pleiades here, which basically when we're looking at this fresh here of B, there's Pleiades up here. Okay, that's the one that I keep on telling you, that's the meatball back there, because it keeps a big black circle. Now there's not that much CME action going towards it there. There is, but they cut it off as that one big CME right there, and then they don't want to let you see much more because you'll really notice how big in darkness back there the Pleiades behind these here bright stars and planets and so forth that are around the meatball. And remember how massive these distances are because basically I'll show you when we go ahead and we look at JPL, you see how far away Venus and Jupiter are from each other because they're so far away that they don't even show Jupiter on the map. The sun's right here in the hole, and this Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto are all out the back door. And so is Pleiades here out the back door. And as it rifles through space, through days of the month, it gets close sometimes. And this is the closest and the freshest we've got. So basically, the sun is around a lot of activity here on the 9th and 10th of September, I believe. Now it's interesting to see what space weather is saying uh, about basically the distance is going to be 96,000 
kilometers. That's pretty damn close on this TC4. So all I was going to go is look and check on it. And I think it's even going to be closer than what they projected because they had a minimum sitting here on the 12th of this here, all you here. So I'll give you the mileage on that. So it's actually probably going to be closer. So yeah, actually they're being a little bit reserved because basically it could get as close as 94,891 kilometers. Okay, it's going to be 58,962. And yeah, that's what I was saying before is the idea that when they were first showing the other comment, that the idea that this here one will be closer. And basically that's how close it is sitting today on the 11th. Okay, that's its position out there. And it's basically Earth is the little green dot underneath the blue action because basically we're so close. So, Earth is under there. You just can't really read it very good because of the idea of the closeness. Okay, so the Earth is right there. Okay, that's Earth. Okay, and also TC12, 2012 TC4. All right, so. Hugo Lowry has a great look. Check that out. Norway. Northern Lights. Check that out. Is that awesome or what? So it'll be interesting to see the earthquake action because we're going to be going back into these large items again. 2.4 kilometers in size and so forth. This stuff is small. DC4 is only 21 meters. But that's still a big chunk of lead out there. Magma. You can't miss the meatball again out the back door of Earth. Remember that this is farther. It's so huge and it's back out here by Uranus, you know, as far as backness because basically this is the sun over here underneath the solar panel. And basically the meatball here is farther back. It's way far back as we just get a glimpse of it a little bit because of all the CME action and everything in the darkness of space behind on our back door of Earth. And there's the meatball. Can't miss it. Okay. And then over here, you can see where the sun hits us here and the idea that we're getting a little bit of a magnet on the south side back a little bit as we are going through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour. So I would expect our earthquake activity to pick up even more higher magnitudes and these bigger items coming back around like we did the year a while ago with, with the sevens that we did get. And the latest was a 4.9 down in Australia. That one there, 4.9. And then we'll see if we've got anything fresh right now. And like I say again, West Coast has been getting action. And we'll drag it out. There's your 14 days, a lot of quakes. Okay tons of quakes okay lots look at all those lines check it out tons of quakes in the last 14 days and then we'll suck it back a little bit real fast and then you can see the latest out here on the west coast and yep east coast too but west coast is starting to get hammered again and we'll hit now see if we got anything fresh and there's a 2.7 all of a sudden up in alaska again alaska getting hammered and hammered and hammered and hammered, and hammered as you can see here Lots of quakes up in Alaska, okay? And that is Alaska up there with all those, okay? Now we have that fast solar wind speed because of the idea that those M-class that did come off, okay? So that's what's scooting through space. It's got that solar wind speed up. But right now, the sun is calm, but it is going to want to spike again pretty soon, and then it'll cross phase again here when some more material comes by out in the space. The sun doesn't like being crowded, and it's already starting to say it here a little bit right there i.e. all the rips that are coming off the sun and just starting into the fall solstice this is a little bit warm so this will help us be a little bit warm temperatures down here on earth but this with the solar wind speed up uh this high we're going to have a lot of high winds here on earth okay and yes but in the last three to seven days you've had some quake action in seven to fourteens all over this side of it and let's go ahead and, and this is why indonesia is getting its quakes right now Basically, it shows up right here. We got a bunch of 5.1 and 5.0 and 4.9. So we'll look at the graphs real fast. Iran's getting a bunch of quakes also. South Sandwich Islands region also. It's chilly, still rumbling. Here's the latest list. 
And there they are, all the quakes around the world on the map. The world's still shaking his booty because these are no more than two days old.